everyone, it's Rose, and I'm back with another unbagging video. And what I have here is um, a shipment from New Homey. I've opened the first few, and you've seen that video. And now I'm ready to open the next few. So let's see what we got in here. All right, let's start with this one. Oh, the bag's open. Um, all right. Oh, I know why. Because I, uh, when I got this shipment, I pre-labeled them with my inventory number. Of course, that was a week or so ago, so I don't remember what this is. So I'm going to find out. Okay, so now I know what this is. So number 421 is one that I call Painted Faces. All right. Let's see what we've got. First, let's get the innards out of this. Okay. So we have just a standard toolkit. And we have very pretty drills in the ribbon packaging. There's no DMC numbers on there, but that's okay. We'll look at those in just a moment. And this is Painted Faces. I thought this would look really nice in this size. I'm gonna bring you down because this one here is just a little one. So it's uh, 30 by 30. Okay, let me just try and flatten it out a little bit. It actually made it through shipping pretty well. Um, so no deep creases or anything like that. I'm just going to relay the plastic down on it to see if that will help get rid of some of those minor mail increases. There we go. And really only the, the ends need to be flattened at all. Okay. There we go. Nice and flat. Uh, okay, so yeah, painted faces, and this is number 421, and advertised 30 by 30, but that is the um, canvas size, so I would expect this to be about 24, oh, it's 25, 25 by 25, okay, so that would be, what is 25, 25 is a 10 inch frame exactly a 10 inch frame and so you wouldn't need any washi tape around the edge of this if uh, if you were to frame it okay and it is round drills so let me just stick the label on there there we go okay so Let's take a look at the legend. So no DMC numbers anywhere. For those of you who uh, like to know what the DMC numbers are. And the legend on the leg, like the symbols on the legend look nice and clear. Let's see how they look on the canvas. They look a little muddy on the canvas. Those. I mean, it's legible, but it is not as clear as I would have liked for those dark colors that have the white printing. Uh, it's like the dark color has bled a little bit into the symbol that's on the canvas. I think I would want to use a light pad to work on this. The light colors are fine. So let's just make sure we're not going to have any confusion amongst symbols. And I don't see anything yet. So in this case, the printing on the, the dark colors, the M, the percent sign, uh, the Z, well, the Z's pretty clear. Um, they're not as clear as I would have liked, but it's not going to cause a problem of, I can't tell if that's an M or a Z, not at all, or a percent sign. Uh, so it's still very legible. And I think, especially if you use a light pad, I don't think this would give 
too, too much trouble. And I do understand it can be difficult for some printers to uh, render those symbols that are printed on a dark, well, when it's white that's left behind on a dark uh, color. I can see how that would be difficult to print if uh, the printer is not super, super sharp. But yeah, okay, so that's pretty good. And I think it's going to be very nice. Let's take a look at the drills and then we'll have a better sense of what this will look like. Okay, so we are looking for 19 colors. So 19 colors on this diamond painting, which is not a lot. Um, so we'll have to see how it how it comes out. And uh, honestly, I, I don't think I'll be able to tell you how it's going to come out until um, I actually do it. So, so, okay, so we've got three packages of the number one, which is those M's that are uh, in the background and all over the place here. So lots and lots of this uh, 310. Lots and lots, but look at them. They look really good. And um, I'm just, I'm going to take a little while to look at the drills. I'm not going to get deep into what it is that I'm looking for uh, beyond the fact that what I want are really, really flat bottoms. And if I see anything that concerns me, I'll point it out. And I also don't want any flash or anything extruding beyond the edge of the drill because that will make for popping drills. And hopefully the drills are all exactly the same size. Again, I've never had trouble with um, drills that come in these strip packages. They tend to be really, really good quality drills. And that's what I'm seeing here. I'm not seeing anything that concerns me at all. So nice bright colors, nice sparkly drills. And just when I'm finished showing you these drills, I'm going to take just a second and, and um, comment on the whole color palette um, in its entirety uh, because of looking at the canvas. It looks like the canvas is very, very dark. And so I, you know, when I first saw the canvas, I thought, hmm, not so sure that this is going to look really, really good. Um, but there are enough of these light colors in here that I think it's going to brighten up the canvas a lot. Uh, the only way to tell is to actually drill this diamond painting and you know that I'll come back to you when I have done that and um, show you the finished result. But um, I have high hopes for this. now. Grosso modo, it looks really, really good in the camera. It uh, doesn't look pixelated at all. And it looks a little tiny bit pixelated when I'm looking at it just with my eyes. But it still looks pretty good. Better than a lot of the ones. So this one here I thought would look good. Uh, with a small risk of it being very pixelated, it actually it looks pretty good. Pretty good. So um, just based on this, I would say if you like the image, this might be a good one to get. Yeah. Okay. So that's the first one. Let's see what comes next. Let me just roll this up again. It is so easy to put these strip packages back into their bags. All right.
Okay, so I'm just going to write a label to put on the drill package, and I will be back with you in just a sec. Okay, it's all nicely labeled, and we're ready to move on to the next diamond painting. So, let's see what comes next. All right. What's this one? Oh, 423. All right. Uh, let's see what 423 is. Okay. So number 423 is one that is advertised on the website as Monster. And I guess that's not a really bad name for it. But, I mean, it's, it's very descriptive. Um, what it is, though, is the Egyptian god Horus. Oh, and this one is not looking good to me. <laughs> Maybe it'll look better when it's done, but mm, yeah, I thought this one would be good because it's a very simple figure in the foreground. Um, and usually when you have just a single figure on a smallish size diamond painting, this is um, 30 by 40. Uh, it tends to be not bad, but maybe it's the, the figure is too small compared to the size of the diamond painting but it looks pretty pixelated to me hmm. okay so anyway um horus is the egyptian god of i can't remember what i'll flash it up on the screen um and he has an animal head which i can't really tell what that animal head is uh, from this diamond painting, <laughs> which is not a good sign. Um, but, oh well. Uh, so, so, yeah, all right. Uh, let's, uh, let's try and flatten it out a little bit. Oh, and I want to tell you uh, about, um, for those of you who don't already know, uh, I, I've been working with, I'm going to lift you up because you can't see the whole diamond painting. Okay. Um, I've been working with a new homie now for a few months. And uh, I am working with them on a little program that I call Rose Tries Before You Buy. So if you see a diamond painting on the new homie website, that you'd be interested in getting, but you're not sure exactly whether it will turn out the way you would want it to turn out, you can send me the link from the New Homie website and I will, um, what I'll do is I'll uh, use those viewers requests to uh, order from New Homie and I will test your diamond painting for you before you decide to buy it. So this one is uh, 34 high and 24 wide. Okay, uh, 24 by 34, there we go. Um, and so I think that's a way for you to, if you're on the fence about a diamond painting, uh, the rose tries before you buy is is an easy way for you to decide and um, yeah I think it'll be super fun it's gonna be super fun for me because I've been getting uh, the rose tries emails from a lot of people and the email address to send your rose tries uh, email too is ramblingrosedp at gmail.com. It's on the screen right now. Put rose tries in the subject line and then down below the, uh, the link to the diamond painting that you want me to try. If you want to send two or three diamond paintings that's, that you want me to try, that's fine. I might not get to everybody's diamond paintings, but my goal is to show off as many as possible as I make uh, further orders from New Homie going, going forward. Okay, so let's take a look at the legend. And let's see whether there's anything here. I'm going to blow it up. Let's see whether there's anything here that would be 
uh, potentially difficult to read. So we've got a G, do we have a C? We've got an F, do we have an E? We've got a C, do we have an O? Yeah, we have an E and we have an F, but those are not going to be confused. We have a C and we have a G, but again, I don't think those are going to be confused. There's the C, and then up here is the G, completely different colors. And I don't think I saw, did I see an O? I don't think I saw an O. Nope, I think that's good. Okay, so let's take a look at the drill field. And see, this one is, the drill field is nice and clear. The, all the letters are nice and sharp and clear. That's the way they should be. So let's just compare that to the Painted Ladies. So on the Painted Ladies, we've got those M's that are, I mean, they're clearly M's, but they're not as clear as, let's say, those A's. So uh, it's, I think that these were done at different factories um, because many of the diamond painting companies that we work, that we order from, they actually get supplied by different uh, factories for different uh, parts of their inventory. And so it really depends on the factory. So it's important for YouTubers like me to point out when there's a bit of a problem with the printing because that allows new homie to go back to their supplier and say mm, you know we have a little bit of a problem and so I will actually be flagging uh, to Kevin um, although he watches these videos so um, so I know that he'll see it but I'll, I'll just leave a little note for him in the email that I send him uh, about this video going up that uh, that says I did have a problem with uh, with the clarity on one of the diamond paintings. So the clarity on this one is really, really good. This is one that I could do without a light pad. And so for me, because my main pleasure that I get from diamond painting is actually laying the diamonds on the canvas. So what's important to me is that the canvas is, um, clear and the symbols on the canvas are clear and that the drills are really really good if one of those things doesn't work I don't have a good experience less important to me because I don't hang my diamond paintings uh, I haven't yet I might start I'm planning on starting but I've been saying that for a year and a half uh, the only ones I've framed so far are ones that I've given away to other people um, but uh, for me, when I'm finished a diamond painting, I shoot a post-completion review to show you what it looks like, and then I file it away. And I don't look at it again until I do a retrospective. So, um, so the, the final image is not the most important thing for me, unless it's a diamond painting that I'm buying to give away. Uh, so for that reason, I will enjoy working on this. We'll see whether I enjoy the final product. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Okay, what I do love to see is drills that have been pre-bagged for me because that makes diamond painting that much easier. I don't have to do any kitting up. I don't have to tape the corners of bags shut. And here we have a kit, standard kit, wax boat, pen with it looks like three uh, baggies, which I always appreciate getting Ziploc bags. Um, so I really, really like that. And so I just, I love the fact that I am able to show you, uh, some of the inventory in the new homey store, because there are so many gorgeous, gorgeous diamond paintings in their store, like thousands of products. And we're going to open a few more today. And, uh, and I just love being able to show you guys because I know that sometimes they're, they're diamond paintings that you wouldn't necessarily have thought 
to um, to try yourself, but then, or you may not even have found them because when there's that many uh, diamond paintings on a particular website, um, sometimes it's hard to, I'm gonna zoom in again. Sometimes it's hard to actually get a really good look at them. So what I've taken to doing is I look for them uh, sort of on a random basis like I'll go into their, you know, new collection or, you know, one of their animal collections or something like that. And, um, and then what I'll do is just pick pages at random to go to. And that way I feel like I'm getting the most exposure to uh, as many diamond, different diamond paintings as possible each time. And, uh, or sometimes I'll just put in a search term like horse or fairy or beauty because pictures of women are often just called beauty, I've learned. So, um, and I'll just look at all of the diamond paintings that have beauty in the title or horse in the title or fish or whatever. And, uh, and then I'll pick a few that I want to, uh, to show you. Um, so yeah, that's, I love doing window shopping in diamond painting stores like New Homey. They're just, it's just so much fun. These drills are fantastic, really fantastic. And there are 22 colors for this diamond painting. So that'll make for um, a good diamond painting experience too. And the more colors, generally, the better your final product. That's not always true uh, because um, quite honestly, sometimes a diamond painting that has very, very few colors uh, ends up looking absolutely fantastic. So uh, I'm not going to say that you need a, a whole lot of colors to get a really good diamond painting. Uh, but I think we all like getting lots of colors. So 22 colors is not bad for a painting this size and for a painting this price because often um, you pay more if there are a lot of colors. So yeah, no, these drills are looking fantastic. Really, really good. Really, really, really good. And again, these light colors, maybe those will make the difference in making the, the diamond painting uh, look better uh, as a finished product. Um, Again, we'll know that when I do the post-completion review on this, whenever that happens to be. I'm not sure when, I'll, when that will be. Um, I'll zoom out and show you all of the colors in just a moment when I'm finished showing you these drills. These drills are amazing. Really, really good. There's nothing here that concerns me. Nice flat bottoms. Nothing around the edges. And yeah, very good. Okay, we're getting close to the end of the drills. Yeah, okay, all right. I love these colors too. They are really, really nice, rich colors. And um, the drills feel really heavy. There are some companies that, um, that when I buy a, a diamond painting, the drills feel really, really light. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means it's made out of a different, um, a different uh, raw ingredient. Well, not raw ingredient, but you know, some are plastic, some are acrylic, some are resin. Uh, and these are, are very heavy drills, uh, so they're nice and dense, and, and I think that makes for a better overall look uh, when the diamond painting is finished, but even that's not always true. Sometimes you get a really beautiful, di sometimes you get a really, really beautiful diamond painting um, from, you know, what is clearly super cheap drills. So this is it. I've got all the colors here, and... Um, there's a nice mix of light and dark colors. So I think 
that that will help a lot to make this diamond painting look better when it's done. Still not sure about it. Yeah, still not sure about it, which is too bad because I, I was hopeful for this. But um, like I say, the canvas is perfect. The drills look perfect. To me, that makes for a perfect diamond painting experience. What it looks like at the end, we'll find out later. Okay, I'm gonna pause while I put the drills away and label the drill bag. And I'll be back to you in a second to open the next diamond painting. Okay, so I've got all my drills labeled and I'm ready to show you the next diamond painting. Let's see what it is. All right. Oh, this is number 417. 417 is one oh, that I call koala. I thought this one was super cute. So I wanted, I wanted to show you this one. Even though it's not one that I would normally buy for myself, there are a lot that I find really, really cute that I wouldn't necessarily buy for myself. But I hadn't yet started the Rose Tries um, way of picking diamond paintings, where essentially I let you pick diamond paintings for me. And so what I was doing with this order was trying to pick diamond paintings that weren't necessarily ones that I would like, but ones that I thought might be popular with other people. And I thought this one would be super popular with other people. Look at this, isn't it cute? And I think it's gonna look amazing. It looks great in the camera and it actually looks really, really good just with my eyes. This one is gonna be spectacular, people. Even, oh, this one's good. This one makes me feel like, oh yeah, you got it right. All right. So, um, and I, I've been thinking about koalas every time, every time I see koalas. I think about the fires in uh, Australia last year, and of course the wildfires that are burning in uh, the West in the United States now. And it's just, it's just uh, so sad to know what people are going through. And this just gives me hope. When I look at this, it gives me hope. Um, and I think for these guys, we can make the world a better place and maybe reduce our emissions and stop global warming someday and just do what we need to do to make the world safe for all its creatures. Um, okay, so I'm noticing a few things that make this my favorite diamond painting that I've unboxed today. Uh, so the table has um, all the DMC numbers and even though the drill bags don't have the DMC numbers on them, that's fine. Uh, they're here, so that's good. Uh, everything looks clear. Some of the reds are a little bit muddy, and we'll take a little bit of a look there. But, and maybe I'll change my mind about that as, as I go along. Maybe I'll say, yeah, it's, it's very hard to read. But I just love the way this looks, and I love the way this will look, because this is one that I can tell right now is going to look fantastic when it's done. But before I get overly excited, let's take a close look at the symbols. So we've got that percent sign, which even on the legend looks a little bit hard to read. Is it going to be a problem? It really depends on what the other reds that are going to be around it look like. And I don't think that it'll be too much of a problem based on the legend. But let's take a look at the drill field. So I'm telling you, right here, everything I'm seeing here is great. This, to me, is from this area, a perfect canvas. And I'm running out of space here. <laughs> um, I'm trying to go edge to edge on the canvas. When we get into the reds, 
I was a little bit concerned when I was uh, looking at it. I'm not wearing my reading glasses. Uh, I was a little bit concerned that they would be hard to read, but look, they're not hard to read. They're not hard to read at all. Yeah, no, this is, this is fantastic. Okay, this is an example of an excellent canvas in every way. It flattened out beautifully. The printing is nice and clear. Uh, the, the symbols are not confusing. Yeah, that's really, really nice. So down here, those percent signs are the hardest things to read. But because everything else is easier to read, well, those and signs are maybe a little bit hard to read too. Um, but I don't think that they're going to be confused with each other. And so for that reason, I'm saying this is a good canvas. Okay, so I didn't show you the kit yet. So the kit is just a standard uh, piece of wax, boat, and pink pen. Let's take a look at the drills now and look at these colors. There's a nice, nice mix of lighter and darker colors. So this will, I think this is definitely going to be the nicest of the finished canvases um, of the ones that I've opened so far. Let's see. So 25 colors, which is good for 30 by 40. And let's just make sure of what the size is for this. So um, it's 25 centimeters across and 34 centimeters up and down. Okay, I think I said 25 by 34. And these are round drills. So, um, most of the webs of the diamond paintings on the new homey site are round drills. But there are a nice selection of square drills and special shape drills as well. So I think that there is something for everybody on the site. Um, okay, let's take a look at our 25 colors. And we'll go fairly quickly. I think we all know it what we're looking for. And if I see anything in editing, oh, I gotta zoom in again. Um, if I see anything in editing that I missed uh, while I'm showing them to you now, because I'm going through this fairly quickly, I'll ring a bell and uh, flash up on the screen what it is that I see so that you can um, you can pay attention. On the other hand, if you see something that I have not noticed, do let me know um, because it's always nice to uh, to know. Part of my screen is uh, obscured, like what I'm looking at, the viewfinder on my camera is obscured by the holder, so I can't see the whole screen. I can only see about half the screen. So if there's something um, in that hidden part of the screen, uh, I usually don't catch it until editing. And if I happen to be looking away from the screen while I'm doing editing, uh, I might miss it entirely. So, so that's why I say, you know, I'll do my best. <laughs> but what I am seeing is that these drills are just about perfect, which is what I expect. Uh, the company that does these that has diamond in the check like in the in the 
hash on the uh, on the bags. They do really, really nice drills. Now these drills do feel lighter than the ones that I was just show showing you for the Horus diamond painting, but that doesn't mean that they're not equally good quality. It just means that they're made of something slightly different, um, but still really, really nice. And in fact, I've had some of my best experiences painting with diamonds, uh, with small diamond paintings. Uh, has been on diamond paintings that I get these drills with. Um, they're super light, but they just look amazing. And the colors are bright and lively and everything. And the drills are really good. So, uh, what's not to like? All right. Yeah, no. There's absolutely nothing here that concerns me. Absolutely nothing. These are great. Really great. Okay, good. Let's zoom out. Okay, so I think, let's see how many I've got left in the package. I think I'll open another one. Yeah, I'll open another one. Uh, so just a minute while I put my stuff away here, and I'll be back to you when I have... Um, labeled my drills and so okie doke all right so that's uh that's koala all nice and done i would have to say this is a good good choice on my part very happy with that one all right let's see what's next uh, i am gonna unbox or unbag another notebook uh, because, you know what, we're getting into um, planning for Christmas and stuff. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm getting into planning for Christmas and stuff. And I think notebooks would make great gifts for people, especially people who normally you would see and be able to get together for dinner and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, because of COVID, you're just not seeing people the same way. I think giving them a notebook maybe with a little inscription in the front, is a great way to let them know that you've been thinking about them through the year because you took the time to make something for them. Okay, so this notebook is one that I call, I don't know, 426. Oh, this is the, um, this is the blue and white mandala notebook and it is unlined. Um, but I thought that the cover was going to be so beautiful that I just thought, I don't care if it's unlined, I'm going to get it anyway, because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and so here is the notebook and I'll just get the little lined page that I use on my unlined notebooks to be able to write in straight lines. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is just a piece of note paper that I drew, um, like I, I blackened the lines that were already printed on it, uh, just with a ruler and, and magic and pen. And um, so what happens is you stick this down behind the page and you can see those lines nice and clear. I'm just going to open this in another place. There we go. we go you see those lines are nice and clear and easy to see so I'll be able to write nice and neatly which is important um, but I'm not going to be writing this notebook I don't think this notebook will be something that I give to somebody I care about at Christmas most likely okay uh, so it comes with everything you need the boat the pink wax and the pen and as you probably know, with the notebooks, there's no inventory and there's no legend. You simply apply the diamonds according to number. The number on, on the cover is the number on the bag of diamonds, which we're 
going to take a look at now. But I just, I love concentric circles. I love uh, special shaped diamond paintings that look lacy. And this one just looks awesome. And I loved, loved, loved the colors and the way they all work together on uh, the image on the website. And you guys know that I am a strong believer in the fact that um, special shaped diamond paintings and kits like this for notebooks and stuff always, always look better uh, in real life than they will ever look on video or in a photograph because um, the camera will never be able to do what your eyes do in terms of uh, showing off the beauty of the drills that you're placing. Uh, these drills, by the way, are really, really good quality. I haven't seen anything that's concerning. Usually with special drills, you get a higher proportion of bad drills, which is why they always send you way more drills than you'll ever need. Like these in real life are just incredible. They're so beautiful. Uh, and the camera is not doing them justice. Just not doing them justice. Which means that when this thing is gorgeous, when this thing is done, it's going to be so, so gorgeous. I can hardly wait for it to come up in a penny pick because I really, really want to do this kit. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, this is another big, big win. Uh, the only thing that could have made it better would be if the, uh, the notebook was lined. But I know a lot of you don't like not lined notebooks. So there you go. Uh, and it's easy enough to, oh, there goes my Roomba. I'm going to have to turn that off just a sec. Yeah, I know a lot of you like lines uh, and a lot of you like no lines. So um, you could turn this into a line notebook easily enough with this little trick. Uh, I, I prefer lines, but I could not pass this notebook up. It's just too beautiful just too beautiful look at that and just imagine it with all these gorgeous drills on it it's gonna look so good okay all right uh let me label my oh i don't need to label my drills because it's going back into the bag uh so i'll be back in a second so that's it everybody that is the four diamond paintings that i have unboxed today from new homie uh, I loved two of them, and I think the first one will look nice. Oh, by the way, I didn't say how many colors there were for this notebook. There are eight colors, uh, or eight different kinds of drills for this notebook. Uh, for those of you who, um, who are interested in knowing that, uh, I think it's going to look fantastic. Anyway, so um, I think that uh, this is an absolute winner. I would absolutely recommend this to you. I also think that the Koalas is absolutely a winner. I would recommend this to you. Horus? Not so sure about Horus. I'm withholding judgment until I have drilled it. I think it might be a little pixelated, although it looks not bad through the camera. We'll see. And the painted ladies, or the painted face, pa painted faces, I call it. Uh, the painted faces, I absolutely love the image, and I actually do like it the way it looks in the camera. And now looking at it with my eyes, maybe it's because I'm, I've been looking at the other diamond paintings. It actually looks pretty good too. So I would say my, my favorites from today's unboxings are these two. 
And actually now, I like this one. The print on it is a little muddy in here, in with some of the reds. But other than that, I think it's going to look great when it's done. She might be a little bit dark. We'll see. This one, I think the drilling experience will be fantastic because the, the canvas is perfect. The symbols on the canvas are perfect. The drills look perfect. All of that looks great. What I'm not sure of is what it's going to look like when it's finished. If you're like me and you just diamond paint for the sake of keeping your hands busy and you don't do anything with your diamond paintings, that won't matter. And so this is one you might want to try. Also, if you're into uh, Egyptian mythology. So that's it, everybody. That is the new homie unboxing for today or unbaggings for today. And... Um, Again, if you go looking on the New Homie website, which I strongly encourage you to do, and you find something that you're not sure whether you want to order it, because you're not sure how it'll turn out, send me the link, Rose Tries to ramblingrosedp at gmail.com, and I will uh, add it to my list to order from New Homey in the coming weeks and months. And hopefully we will all see what your um, wish list item looks like so that you can decide whether you actually want to buy it. And in the meantime, if you find stuff on the New Homey site that you love, go ahead, order it. And don't forget to use the discount code Rambling Rose. It'll give you 15% off everything in your uh, order uh, when you enter that code at check at checkout. So that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my patrons and my viewers and my subscribers for uh, coming back and visiting with me and giving me great suggestions and feedback and constructive feedback on my channel. I take everything you say to heart and uh, do whatever I can to improve my channel for you every day. So I hope you have a fantastic day and I will be back with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.